what do you think about that hypothesis and how it fits with what you've told us so far? Um, yeah, it's a it's a very interesting idea, and uh, <laughs> uh, I liked that idea because as a bilingual speaker, I kind of know the intuitions that people build on, but unfortunately, there is just no evidence that supports these kinds of effects. So um, people have made empirical claims based on certain phenomena that, for example, if you have multiple words for a particular part of the color spectrum, you're better at differentiating those colors. Or if mm. you have a word, a way to encode certain aspects of motion in particular kinds of events, you may be better at remembering those aspects of events. And most of these um, studies just don't seem to be robust to kind of scrutiny and replication. In fact, for almost any empirical claim that has been made in that space, there is now a few other papers that will say, okay, it's a failure to replicate. It doesn't seem like there's robust evidential support for this. That said, there is something to, there is something very true to the idea that culture, the cultural needs shape the language um, that the, the word, the kind of the kinds of things that we talk about, right? So this idea of, you know, a hundred words for snow, there is something to that. Of course, if our environment is such that it's important for us to distinguish between these kinds of things, of course, we'll come up with more words to cover that part of the conceptual space. But it's not, it doesn't have to be cross-linguistic and cross-cultural. It could be um, uh, also witnessed within um, uh, within uh, uh, a society, right? Like if you are uh, a podcaster and you need to know a lot about like the, um, you know, auditory recording machinery, right? You'll have all these terms in your vocabulary that most people may not know, but it's important to you and your work. And so you'll expand that part of your yeah. conceptual space. And of course you'll learn words for how to refer to those things. So some of that in some sense has to be true, but this idea that, you know, a particular language that you speak fundamentally reshapes your perception and cognition. Um, I just don't mm -hmm. think there's evidential support for it. 